taking the selfie and posting it to Instagram. For the record, that's not how this video is going to start off, and that's not what this video is about. This video is about Warp Tour and what to expect. And it is exactly this many till Warp Tour 87 days, 1 hour, 1 minute, and 30 seconds. And counting. Whatever. Anyways, a lot of you don't know what to expect at Warp Tour, and I'm gonna help you out with that because I went to Warp Tour once in my life, and I wish I could have gotten more because kind of came into this music genre pretty late. But I went last year, and it was amazing, and I just loved it, and I'm going again this year! Wow, there is something wrong with me today. Anyways, this is basically Warped 101. I got it off of their official app. I'm not being paid by them, I swear. It's just something that I want to do because I can at the moment, and it's going to be really fun. I promise, and I hope you enjoy it. The first thing is, when you are at the show, do not buy tickets in the fucking parking lot. And here is why. There are often counterfeit tickets, and we are not responsible for fake tickets. Warp Tour is not responsible for fake tickets. Get that through your fucking head. You will lose your money, and you will not be able to enter with those tickets. So why would you risk it? I don't know. Ask the fucking people that you bought from in the parking lot. Just don't buy tickets in the parking lot, okay? More things about the parking lot. Do not buy backstage passes, VIP, wristbands, guest passes, or any other pass online or in the parking lot. Guess what? It's probably counterfeit, too. These passes are not real. They will not get you access and will be a waste of your fucking money. The only sanctioned online passes offered are through the unit, the United Fundraiser for the TJ Martell Foundation and the passes from the Music Saves Lives Blood Donation Fundraisers. So there's that for you. And if you want to volunteer on Warped, contact Natalie Dickinson. She'll be running the whole volunteer tent this summer. And you can find out about opportunities by email as well as following We Are The Kids site and Twitter. And you can learn more about the program in a video from Natalie. And I will link that in the description. So you can have fun with that. Where are the band signings? I was very confused by this. Then I went around and I bought a schedule for like $2 and it was worth my fucking money because it saved my life in so many ways for meeting of Mice and Men, Attila, fucking everyone basically. My hair is being ghetto. Be sure to visit the sponsor and vendor area to mark down times for signings, acoustic performances, and more! Say We Can Fly is going this year! He is going to be in the acoustic basement, so if you want to see Say We Can Fly, you better go there to the vendor area and mark down times for signings and acoustic performances like that. The participating sponsors will have this information posted on a whiteboard or other signs outside of their tents each day. You can also follow the tour on Twitter, at Vans Warped Tour signing for signing updates, okay? It's at Vans Warp Tour. They will give you signing updates, I promise. If you need medical assistance, like this guy that I know that had to have it last year, look for the first aid flag located at the medic station. It's It looks like this, and it's kind of really big, and it works for everyone, basically. Where do I get free stuff? Okay. I got a whole shitload of free stuff from fucking PETA, uh, Artery Records, stuff like that. And one of the hallmarks of Warp Tour is that many sponsors and nonprofits offer freebies for coming by and spinning a wheel, playing some games, or just saying hi. You can find all this in the sponsor and vendor village. It's kind of obvious where the sponsor and vendor places are, because they'll say sponsor, vendor, PETA, all that shit, because so you're good with that. Right? Yeah. You can read. I hope. There is a reverse daycare and there is a drop-off area, but first I'm going to do the whole reverse daycare thing because it saved my fucking life last year when my mom didn't want to stand out in the rain while I was standing there waiting for Austin Carlisle, Alan Ashby, and all that shit. All those guys to sign my fucking, oh my god, I'm fangirling now. <laughs> That's not what this is about. You're going to reverse daycare. If you want your parents to go to reverse daycare, there is a tent and it is an ultimate pair 
perk for parents. The reverse daycare tent is a tent is an air-conditioned chill zone for parents who escort their teens to the concert but crave a break from the heart from the heat and the music. Now, if your parents are anything like my mom kind of was, I've gotten her more into my music genre. If you know what I mean, yeah. She wasn't really into the whole thing, so she stayed in reverse daycare for a bit. Um, parents can relax, enjoy a cool beverage, and interact with some of the family-friendly products in the tent. Closing at 6 p.m., and group tour goes on after 6. Now, the drop-off area. Most venues have a designated drop-off area in front of the venue for drop-offs and pickups. So, if you're, like... 16, you have your permit, and you can't really drive without an adult yet, how about you drive there, and then have your parents or whoever the adult is switch sides with you while you get out and enjoy fucking Warp Tour for the rest of your life. And if you need to know what time your favorite bands or some you may have never heard of need to play that you want to hear, the schedule of the band's set times are not set until the morning of the show, so remember to get to the show early. I got there. I woke up at like 7, we got there around 11, and this year I'm staying overnight, so, yeah. Get there early and head to the big inflatable, inflatable at the main van's tent where the schedule will be listed. It's this huge fucking whiteboard, you can't miss it. It's not even a whiteboard, really, it's like a board with bands and numbers and times and stuff taped to it, and it looks like this. It's really noticeable, too. And it's really awesome, because I took a picture of it, and the picture came out shitty, but if you if you didn't really get a picture of it, or if it came out shitty, you can just go somewhere, and you can buy a schedule for $2, that's really cheap, like, really cheap. Or if you want to, you can just go on Twitter the entire day, and just be like, what are my bands playing? Now, this is the before the show thing. Where do I get tickets? If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, listen to this. Tickets are available through your local tour date page, where you'll also find info about the bands playing your stop, transportation info, and more. Tickets for Ticketmaster shows are available in person at Ticketmaster outlets at select Walmart locations, malls, Kroger, Giant Eagle, and other retail locations. Check the retail locator to find a location near you. I will put a link in the description. If you purchase tickets ahead of time, be sure to bring your printout at home, print at home printout or ticket to the show. I printed mine, and let's just say that it, it didn't really come out that clear. So if it doesn't come out that clear, you will have to reprint it again. Or if you can't reprint it because it won't let you, you will have to like go to Warp Tour and be like, I tried to print it out at home, it wouldn't work, they'll, they'll do something, I promise. Um, when are my tickets going to be mailed? Mail it to home tickets are often mailed out three to six weeks before your tour stop, but they can be delivered up to one week before your show. It varies by market and for specific questions on your order, contact the customer service departments for your show's ticket company. Be sure to have your own, be sure to have your order number and details ahead of your email slash call. If the ticket order pertains to mail to home tickets, Purchase during the pre-sale. Contact Flavors Customer Support. I will put a link in the description. Email help at flavors.com. Flavorist. Flavorist. I don't know. Or via phone. I'm I, I'm just going to give you this uh, link in the description. So yeah, that's um, like a bunch of the stuff that you need to know for Warp Tour before and after the show. And at the show. Wow. So if you liked it and you thought it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time that I do a video. Rock on, stay rebellious, bye.